I want to show you a technique that uh, I like to use when I'm using these cheap crimp on electrical connectors. They, uh, I don't like using them as a, simply a crimp on. I don't think they make a very good connection and uh, they certainly don't uh, conduct electricity very well. So what I do is I take the insulation off and I use it as a solder connection. So it's a 14 gauge wire. You strip it like you would just to do a crimp on. And this is a 14 to 16 gauge connector. So it should slide in there. And you want to slide it in there so it gets up to that the tab right here where my right thumb is at. Leave a little bit of wire exposed. And then using my crimpers, use the correct slot and the correct orientation on your crimpers. To properly crimp it just like you would with the insulation on it. That holds it in place, gives it a little bit of a mechanical connection. And then I'm going to tin my uh, soldering iron to make sure it's hot, tinned, and I'm going to heat the connector. Make sure I got good heat transfer, so I'm going to make sure it's good and tinned. Heat the connector. And then add my solder to the wire. See how it flowed into the connector right there? See how it bubbled and came in there? So that's a, a good solder joint. I melted some of my insulation right there. You want to attempt to not melt any insulation, but that's okay. I got a, a good solder joint and I didn't get any solder down into my electrical connector there where my blade terminal is going to go. So once I've got it soldered, you know, on this type of a connector, it's not really important to uh, make sure it's sealed because it's going to be open on this end, but I like to use heat shrink tubing on it to make sure that this connector is insulated. You know, just like uh, some of the more expensive connectors are insulated up here with that cheap insulation that you get down here. Well, this connection doesn't have that, but my connector is still a little bit warm, so I'm gonna work quickly in case my heat shrink tubing shrinks down onto here. And I align it up with the end. Now, this is going to go, this particular piece is going to go inside the, um, inside the vehicle, so I don't really need to seal it, but I like to seal it with a little bit of gasket sealer, either RTV or this hardening gasket sealer, and then use a heat gun and shrink my tubing onto there, my heat shrink tubing. And my sealant is going to ooze out. It's going to go around the wire and make a seal. Now this hardening sealer acts like an adhesive, so it's going to help seal that wire. And I need a little extra heat down where that adhesive is at to make sure it shrinks down there and pushes that sealant out. And then I'm going to simply clean it up. paper towel so that's my joint and these female connections work great on uh, a relay so it's ready to use I can push it onto the relay or a little switch it's a little miniature switch and that's it so when it, this end is open anyway, so it's not important that I use a sealant on this particular type of connector. But uh, I like to do it so it's sealed. You know, if it's going to be in the engine compartment, it gives uh, that connection all the advantage that it can have to, to have a long life.